Hi, this is Mr. Vandergriff, and I want to go over the homework for 7th grade science for Mr. Vandergriff and Mrs. Reynolds' class. So what you're going to do is go to your Canvas page, whether my page or Mrs. Reynolds, and then you're going to go down to Modules. Click on Modules, and you can see here's week 1. We've already done that, or you should have. Here's week 2 of September 7th. And now we're on week three of this distance learning. Pretty crazy to think we've already had three weeks of distance learning. So here you have three tasks to complete. That's it for this week. So let's go ahead and click on the first task. And what it says right here, it tells you right here when it's due, September 16th. So we're being introduced Tuesday, so you have Tuesday and Wednesday to work on it. And the directions are right here. Please watch the following three videos on the Next Generation Science Standard cross-cutting concepts. And then it says you must write down three of the most important things you learned from each video in your science notebook. Okay, so remember, write that down. And after you're done with that, you're going you're gonna to watch the next video. So let's watch this for a minute. Right here. Here we go. So we're going to start watching the video. It's mark right there embedded. Hopefully you can figure out what that question mark stands for. Patterns are... And it's all about patterns. Now I want to stop just for a moment. Remember that we have already gone over the cross-cutting concepts with you with the PowerPoint and with the scavenger hunt. Remember, all a cross-cutting concept is, is how a scientist thinks, how they look at the world. And because you were a student scientist, we want you to start thinking with these cross-cutting concepts. So we started out with patterns, we went over a definition, we gave you examples, right? And then from there, we had you look for patterns at your house. And then we did cause and effect. We gave you a definition, and then we gave you some pictures, okay? so. These videos, patterns, this video is, I think, seven minutes long. And you're supposed to write the three most important things after watching the video. Then you're going to go ahead and watch video two, cause and effect. And you're going to write down, you guessed it, your three most important takeaways from the video. Again, this should be review for you because we've already gone over this with our scavenger hunt. And last, you're going to be doing this video on scale, proportion, and quantity. And again, you're going to write down the three most important things in your science folder. When you've done that, so if you watch all three videos back to back, it's about 27 minutes of videos. But you've got two days to work on this. Once you are done, what it tells you to do, once you are done taking notes on the three videos, click the blue button in the top right corner of the assignment that says Submit Assignment and type your responses in the text box. Once you have typed your notes in the text box, click the blue button, the blue button, the blue button and submit the assignment and so you can turn it in. So look at how this works. So you watch this video, write three things. Watch this second video, write down the three most important takeaways. And last, watch this third video and write down three important things. When you're done with that, you're gonna go right here where it says Submit assignment. You're going to click right here where it says text entry and you're going to start writing. So what was the first video on? I believe the first video was on patterns. So then you want to start giving us the three things, right? Three most important things. The I discovered that Patterns are found everywhere in nature. And then whatever two other things that were super important to you. So then after you do that, you're going to do the second one, I think was uh, cause and effect. And then how many things are you going to write for that? Three things. And then the last one, I think, was uh, scale portion and quantity and you're going to write how many for that three so again you're just taking what's in your science notebook and you're writing it in the text box and then you guessed it right here you're going to hit submit and you got the confetti and pizza coming down meaning you did it look right up here it says yeah you've submitted it and then we can take a look at it and we can grade that 
if you're like, oh, I want to add more details, well then go back here to resubmit and you can add more details. So again, hopefully this video has been helpful in uh, week three, task one. And again, you're watching three videos and then you're writing the three most important things and then you're going to upload that into Canvas.